Jai Sai Ram. Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba speaks often about the importance of faith and patience and how these virtues can lead us to a deeper understanding of God's purpose. Here's a story to illustrate this. Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived this humble farmer named Ramesh. He was known throughout the village for his unwavering faith in God, and he always had a deep sense of contentment, no matter the circumstances. One year, a severe drought plagued the village. The crops withered, and the streams dried up, and the people of the village were struggling to find enough food and water. Ramesh's fellow villagers were distraught, and they questioned why God had brought such hardship upon them. But Ramesh, with a serene smile and calm demeanor, remained steadfast in his faith. He believed that God had a good reason for everything, even the harshest challenges. He assured his fellow villagers that God had a plan, and they needed to trust in His wisdom. And then he shared a story with them. Once, there was a sculptor who carved beautiful statues from blocks of stone. One day, a little boy asked him why he sometimes chiseled away even the finest pieces of stone. The sculptor replied, Sometimes, I must remove the parts that seem perfect on the outside to reveal the true beauty hidden within. In the same way, God, the divine sculptor, knows what he needs to be removed from our lives. Even if we cannot understand it, he removes the impurities from our hearts, just as the sculptor removes the excess stone to reveal our true beautiful selves. Ramesh believed that the drought, like the sculptor's chisel, was a way for God to shape their characters and reveal their inner strength. Eventually, when the drought ended, the crops flourished and the villagers rejoiced, and their faith in God deepened, for they understood that there was indeed a good reason for the challenges they faced. We have to embrace every experience as a lesson, recognizing that even in the most challenging moments, there was a divine purpose and is beyond human comprehension. The story of Ramesh and his village serves as a reminder that God, like the wise sculptor, has reasons for trials and tribulations that life may bring. These challenges are opportunities for us to grow, learn, and ultimately reveal the inner beauty that lies within our hearts. And you should be That is a sacred practice you should understand. True spiritual practice does not mean meditation or chanting, repeating God's Every name. work is God work. Every work is God work. Everywhere is God where? Everywhere God is there. God is there. God is there everywhere. You, everywhere God, God is there. God is there. God's feet, God's hands, God's eyes, God's ears are spread all over, everywhere. You think that you are doing secretly, but God sees you. Where is God? Just as there is vision in your eye, there lies God. Just as you talk with your tongue, there is God. Just as there is vision in your eye, you find God in you. How do you develop the eyesight? Who is the cause for this vision? God. God. Everything is God's. Without your will, nothing can move. Even grass. With a reason or without reason. You may have a part to matter when I came, Peruka, Mitalapuna, at Yerungaru, You are egoistic because you do that and you are so egoistic, feel proud that you do many. No scope for pride. It is God who does. He experiences. He is blissful. You should have that good sacred idea. You are miserable. And this misery is not mine. It is God's action. This is good for me. This is good for me. Nastam jarina, loss jarina, profit jarina. Everything is good for me. Whatever may happen, profit or loss, everything is, everything is good, for, is good for me. That should be spirit. Then once you understand this truth that everything for good, good for me, 
everything is bound to be good oka manushiki rogam vachindi a man is suffering oka jwaram vachindi high temperature yes high temperature vaadu temperature ichindani quinine mixture ichadu doctor doctor has given him the quinine mixture ee quinine mixture chaala bitter ga untundi adu cheduga untundi quinine mixture is bitter to taste kaani bitter quinine mixture taginappude ee vachinatudu jwaram remove avutundi when once the patient accepts the bitter quinine mixture he will be relieved ee chedu quinine mixture nen taaganan pote nee jwaram akkade untuntadi if you are not prepared to take up that bitter quinine mixture adhe vidhanga kashtam kodalu edo nee roga nivarana kosame ne kashtam vachindi and this difficulty has come only to as a cure kodalu kodalu nee roga nivarana kosame ne vachindi as a cure of your disease bhagavantudu edi kodalu kaaranam leni karyam cheyadu god will not act without any reason yuvati yuvkulara young men and women meer veruga bhavinchakandi don't consider in a different way meer cheppe prathi okati kuda mee manchi kosame ne whatever bhagavan tells you it's for your own good bhagavat tattvam kosame ne cheptunnanu is only to deal with the spiritual values in you అన్నింటి ఎందుకు ఒక అర్థం ఉంటుంది దర్ ఇస్ మీనింగ్ ఇన్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ దట్ భగవాన్